I put a piece in here. Let's see. I'm gonna. This will be a lot easier when it's at. actually. I'm gonna do this while it's on there. So I put my uh, quick clip for my for my tripod on here, and then it just clips right in. And this thing's not gonna go anywhere when I'm out there. And I can adjust it <laughs> however I want to, whatever angle I want to do on it. And it is beautiful. He's the wood. I mean, it's just a beautiful piece of furniture too. And then look at this, just that quick and I'm ready to go as far as painting goes. Let me see. Just like that. And this thing is tight. It's not going to go anywhere in any kind of wind or with me pushing on it. Cause I, I do tend to push on these and if, there's, if they're loose at all, it'll pop it right out of there. So I'm excited. I just got these in uh, last night. Uh, so on Monday, I think, sometime this early, early this next week, I'll be going out to field test these easels. Um, especially this guy. So a lot of people just don't want to go this big, but I sure do. Okay, so, and I also wanted a small one, I said, so that uh, if I'm traveling, it can fit right into my backpack. <laughs> and so this makes it easy to travel. Uh, let's see, oh, okay. We also, uh, last, this last Saturday when we had our member uh, critique webinar, our monthly critique webinar, um, we had a lot of people who said they want to learn how to critique a painting. And Christy's a master at it. She's been critiquing my paintings for 30 years. <laughs> well, almost, what, 28 years now? So, a long time. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know if I could even paint anymore <laughs> without her critiquing my work. So she's going to kind of give some pointers on that. But one of the members, Spike, he wrote an email. Who is, who is with us right now? Oh, okay. Spike's on here. <laughs> yeah. So he wrote us an email and he said, hey, uh, what about doing a thing where the, the members get to critique one of my paintings and then we can kind of guide them through that whole process, especially Christy, since she's the master at critiquing. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're working on getting a page set up where it'll be a private page for the either the six-week course members or the monthly members, where kind of like our Facebook uh, group page, you can go on there, we'll have chat in there, and we'll have one of my paintings, one that's uh, probably one of my sold paintings. Uh, hopefully the person who buys it won't necessarily see it, depending on what kind of uh, flaws you find in my <laughs> painting. <laughs> but we're going to put one of my paintings on there, and uh, then you can critique it, and we'll will kind of guide through that whole process of uh, how to do that and teach everyone how to critique paintings. And then the person that you get to critique your work, you can guide them as well. Or you can show them that whole setup there and they can learn from there um, what it takes to critique a painting. Um, so you really need somebody that is not afraid to hurt your feelings or to make you crawl up in a ball and whimper in the corner. <laughs> That's pretty much what it takes to be a professional artist today. But it doesn't I, happen that often. No, I, it doesn't. <laughs> sometimes we can, I, I certainly feel that way once in a while. Um, okay, so let's see. And we're, I'm not actually going to paint tonight. Sorry about that. But my daughter is leaving at 3 o'clock in the morning. We're taking her to the train station. They wanted to take a train. They've never been on a train. Uh, she's going to be going to the Missionary Training Center. She's leaving for 18 months for Paris, France for a mission. So, <laughs> you can't do that, Christy. <laughs> so anyway, she'll be our fifth child that has served a mission. We're pretty excited for her. We're very excited for her. We're just going to be very sad to, to have her gone for 18 months. All right, um, so that's why I won't be painting tonight. But we'll get, we'll get right back to it again next, next Friday, or at least probably next Friday. We never can tell exactly. All right, um, and I think that's it, right? So now that's it's it. Time. And David's going to have to do some creative texting here. That's right. And so <laughs> I, will, I will take some pictures of my setup because uh, what's, what's happening is um, the palette that he made for me to, uh, to begin with, just real quick, is, was designed for my, um, for my French easel that I've had since I was 16 years old. That's pretty much what I've used for the most part when I go out pioneer painting. But I really want something that I can put everything in my backpack and head out and be good. So um, he's making this and he's designing the palette now so that it will fit on the legs of my tripod. The same palette that he's made before, but he's making an attachment for it. 
and I will have a, a prototype of that here for the beginning of this next week so I can use the whole setup and I will send I'll get some pictures up so that everyone can see that uh, and let you know how it all works out I am really excited for that okay so I think we're ready then to for the giveaway yeah so I think we need a drum roll <laughs> what happened was <laughs> we did a um, uh, we were it's been four years since I put my first video up on YouTube and how all of this kind of started, I guess. And now we have uh, tens of thousands of people that we've uh, helped with what we've been doing. So um, we did a rosemary brush giveaway to Ooh. celebrate. I've been, I've been experimenting with rosemary brushes and they're excellent. I don't know exactly which ones entirely that I'm gonna be using, but I do love the uh, Rosemary Ultimates, their bristle brush, and the Master Series. I have uh, the rounds and I have their flats. This is the uh, 279 and 272 series, I think. These are all excellent brushes. And then there's kind of a mix of them that I'm trying out. But uh, the, the set that we're giving away is gonna have a mix of brushes, so you can do the same thing that I'm doing and experiment with those brushes and see what works for you and what doesn't. All right, so the drum roll is David is going, uh, okay, so we had, uh, what, 233 entries, uh, and you didn't have to purchase anything to be a part of the giveaway. Uh, people just had to let us know that they want to be a part of the giveaway, and that's it. Uh, so we, we had a video that we sold for $7 as a celebration as well, the p &E video, for those who aren't members of the monthly membership, and uh, we announced the giveaway that way to our whole email list. Uh, thousands of people. Um, so out of that we had 233 that entered the drawing and uh, David is going through, he's doing it, he's yeah. using a random number app and he just has everyone 1 to 233 and it's going to draw a number and the number of whoever's on that number is going to be the winner. So if the person uh, we will email that person once the name is dropped. Oh, the number 72. So the, whoever is number 72. Okay, so the number is 72. <laughs> for getting We're close. We're who that is. <laughs> and then that person, they will have until next uh, next Friday's or so. Nancy Blondin. Okay, oh, uh, well, excellent. Nancy, Nancy Blondin won. All right. She's been with us for a long, long time. She's Congratulations. One of the, she's one of People. So Nancy, you better get or better get in right. contact with us soon so you can get your <laughs> Congratulations, brushes. Congratulations, Nancy. We'll be sending you a set of rosemary brushes. We'll be sending them out next week. So we'll we'll email you to get your shipping information so we know exactly where to send that to. And then uh, we just need the we need you to respond by the next fly on the wall, which will probably be next Friday. Um, if we don't get a response. Then we'll do another, we'll draw someone else's name. We just want to make sure that, and I, we know I've seen Nancy a lot, so I'm, I'm not um, worried about her getting back with us, but we just want to make sure that the person who, somebody gets the brushes. All right, so that's about it. And anything else we need to cover tonight? I think you're set. David's keeping us up to date on the, on the chat windows here, right. so I think we're ready All right. to sign off. Well, good deal. Let uh, everyone enjoy sorry it's a short evening. night tonight, but um, we want to go say goodbye to our daughters. Actually, we have the twins are out here uh, so they can go on the train back with each other and uh, spend some time together. So uh, we will see you guys uh, next Friday. So happy painting, and I will uh, keep you apprised of my Flying Air adventure with the new easel and palette. That's coming. And for those that are stateside, hope you have a safe and happy Independence Day. That's right. Uh, happy Fourth of July to all those here in America. And to you who aren't, uh, happy day anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it might be for your country. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy painting.